efficiency that we've been allowed to operate at uh, is just outstanding. That was something we want to capture. And uh, again, that was really, uh, it's been echoed the last uh, two weeks to me. I go back to 1981 where we used to you know, drive into the field house in the morning and you had to come over here to practice. You'd drive somewhere else to go eat, drive somewhere else to meet, back to the office, back over here, and half the day you're in a car. Uh, in this camp, you know, you pull in the, in the uh, back here early in the morning, and when you leave at night, you know, you've never left the furthest. I've had a walk with about 300 yards to the uh, far field, the far grass field. Maybe it's 250. I don't know, but it's, uh, it's pretty nice. So that, that part's really been great. And then I think most importantly for our players, uh, it's a first-class building, and they've got everything they need available. It would be the locker room, uh, certainly the strength condition area, the medical uh, uh, performance center there, the training room down there is great. The equipment staff pro or equipment proximity upstairs, they've got a lounge here. We've got great meeting rooms, and uh, they've used those meeting rooms to study, and I've learned that that's a nice, quiet place for them to sneak into in the afternoons, and nobody's uh, going to bother them that way. Right on top of it, really easy access. Our staff's just across the hall, so we've uh, got a lot of traffic, and it's easy for those guys to drop in on us at any time. And uh, probably the other thing, which, uh, which I really didn't think about much until we got here. And it really coincides with the new NCAA legislation uh, is this room we're standing in right now. Be, to be able to feed our team, we never had a place uh, in my previous 16 years where we could feed the team at once and let them look at each other and talk to each other and what have you. And this, this has provided a great, uh, uh, great avenue for that. And that's a great way for team building to take place. You know, it's just a, it's, it's a really good thing. And the coaches can come out and spend time with our players right here. So that, that's something I really appreciate. So. Just wrapping it up, uh, you know, I'd really be remiss. The most important thing is just to, to express thanks, whether it be the Hanson family, who has just been uh, uh, the lead donors. But we've had so many people that have made big gifts. Uh, but the teamwork of this whole thing, so many people that have made gifts that maybe weren't in the million dollar level. Every gift has been extremely important. Uh, this was a huge fundraising effort uh, to make this thing possible, and the response from uh, all of our supporters and fans has just been great. So we're extremely appreciative of that. And then beyond, it's the first time I've gone through a project like this and, and the teamwork that's been involved, uh, whether you want to talk about the architects going with us and hearing, you know, hearing what it was we saw and then translating that into the building, uh, the people that went into it, all the contractors, and you've got uh, people like uh, Jeff Harney's here from facilities. He was kind of the project manager of this deal, coordinated all of it with the contractors. Uh, Paul Federici was spending, uh, I can't tell you how many hours. Uh, making sure that things, things that we as coaches saw and thought were important, make sure those got integrated in the proper way. So just it, it's been unbelievable, the teamwork that was involved. Uh, no, nobody likes moving, obviously. That was a little bit of a, a pain in the, the neck. Uh, but you know, we're here now, we're settled, and it's just been, been great. So I uh, really, really feel good about that.